Hi, Jordan here again with the Women's Center, and today we're going to talk about the differences between desktop computers and laptop computers. And a question to keep in mind while we're going through these different points is, what kind of computer user are you? Are you a home user? Are you more a professional user? Is mobility important to you, or does it not matter so much? So just keep that in mind as we go through these different points. Uh, we'll start here with laptops. Um, so as I said, the advantage of having a laptop is its portability. You're able to take your data with you anywhere you go. Um, if there's wireless internet available, you can access the internet. Um, they're very lightweight, compact, but um, this is also a disadvantage. Um, their portability and their compactness um, forces all the components of the computer to be closer together. So overheating is usually a problem. Also, when you're moving your computer around, you could bump it or drop it, and this could damage the screen, which is a common laptop um, issue. Um, uh, some more disadvantages, uh, they're expensive. Um, if you wanted to buy an equivalent uh, desktop computer with equivalent processing power, it's going to be a lot more expensive than the desktop would be. Um, it also, because of their uniqueness from um, laptop to laptop, um, it's, they're not as easy to fix, which means repair costs are going to be a lot more expensive. They're also not as customizable in, in the sense of taking out parts and putting in ones that you want. Um, some typical problems you'll encounter is, as I said, with heat, uh, this usually damages the central processing unit if overheating is a problem. And when that happens, um, it's typically uh, not worth um, fixing it um, because you can uh, what it the amount you'd have to spend to buy a new processor would be an investment towards a new computer. And after a couple years, the technology kind of um, it makes it worthwhile to invest in something new rather than trying to fix something that's old. Um, also, the processing power, as I said. Um, because everything's so compact, they don't have as much storage, they don't have as much processing power and things like that. Um, but if you want something that's just quick and easy to take and light, um, then laptops are for you. Uh, but now over to desktops. Um, their advantages is their, their price to performance ratio is a lot higher, so you're paying less for more performance. Um, another advantage is uh, they're, they're able to be customized easily. Um, Design and hardware is very flexible because you have a lot of different producers of parts and you can buy different parts and they're still combat compatible to work together. Um, it also is, uh, gives you more freedom. Um, if you like playing video games, you can invest in a graphics card. But if you don't uh, play as much video games but you want more storage, you can invest in good RAM and hard drive and things like that. Um, which is nice for, uh, for users that um, like to play around with computer building and things like that. Um, another advantage to desktop computers is their ergonomics, uh, which is a term that describes um, their efficiency, comfort, and safety to the user. Um, with computers, you have your monitor and your keyboard at usually a good distance um, to where you're comfortable and your wrists aren't sitting awkwardly. But with laptops, you're usually crunched up close, and they're not really conducive to long-term computer or lo like long hours using your computer. Um, so that's something to keep in mind. If you're usually at your computer for long periods of time, you're going to wa want something that doesn't um, that isn't detrimental to your health or your um, anything like that. Um, so some disadvantages: they're also expensive. Um, computers in general are just expensive, but um, I'd say they're worth you're, they're worth the investment with what you get for desktop t desktop computers versus laptops. Um, they're also not portable and they take up space. Um, again, this is something that you can exchange for um, having something that'll last you for a bit longer. A typical computer can last as long as five years um, with um, as little as one part replacement, typically the power supply um, or the hard drive. And those are easily fixed, um, and they're worth fixing as opposed to the laptop. Um, but your laptop will typically last about two to five years also, depending on how you care for it and if you get repairs or um, things like that. Um, so these are all just different things to keep in mind as you're 
thinking about what kind of computer you want to buy and things like that. Um, we're going to have some more videos in the series talking about what your different options are and pricing and things like that. So I hope you'll tune in and come stop by the Women's Center and talk with us. We'd love to have you. Great. Thank you.